Hello and welcome to the mothership. I'm your commander and chief, General Lack Sivrak. Welcome to the Cult of Lack, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Thank you for joining us on this silky smooth custom update. Uh, we're gonna, I don't know, I just got a few things to show you, a couple new things. Uh, in case y'all didn't notice, I do like to start new projects. As soon as I get hung up on something, I start something new, but I will go back to it. That coffee is way too hot to be drinking. Thank you! That's my Adrian Cronauer Robin Williams. Ever since Brett sent me this microphone, I'm doing Good Morning Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam! For all the news, it's new and approved by the U.S. Army, the sweetest smelling army in the world. Thank you! I don't think I didn't see that movie a whole lot. Of we did not have a lot of things when I was a child, and we had very few VHS tapes. And I didn't even have any of those until I was probably eight. But I wore those motherfuckers out. Uh, this custom right here that you can see... We got a couple things. We got a couple supplies coming for it. That's why it's on the shelf. So don't worry. And as you recall, you said no rush, and that's cool. Cause this is gonna be awesome when it's done. We also got a case. Uh, Y'all are probably familiar with our custom Antok Merrick uh, that we're making. We've got a case in for him, but I'm not. You are not gonna get many more updates on that until it's finished. Uh. Y'all may recognize my, I found, I don't know where I found this, but this used to hang in the, off the rear view mirror of my truck. That's why it has a thingy in it, right? But then I was digging around and I was looking, let's see, this would be, I'm trying to, uh, I haven't looked at this yet, you know, but it would probably be like this, right? Uh, uh. Can anybody say Robo Skull, Red Robo Skull TIE Fighter? I don't know if this is the right scale. It's just I have this. But I have two of these wings. I have this whole TIE Fighter, actually. And, of course, the the part that makes this gap up is on, the, on that part with, of the cab of the TIE Fighter. But I have all that. But I was just looking at, you know, just scale-wise, like, that's my fucking old hound dog. I just gave him some, uh, like, sausage and uh, gravy. Now he's all fucking, like, out there, like, thinking he's a badass. Interrupted my movie. Jake! You better slow your roll! I swear to God, there better be somebody out there that I'm going to have to come attack. They're doing some work over here, and so, like, there probably is somebody out there, but they're fucking probably working. Dogs are colorblind, so he can't tell he's wearing an orange vest. Which doesn't mean that he's working necessarily, but I don't think I'm that important anymore to be, like, assassinated. Like, I don't think there's an undercover guy com coming. I don't think. But I'm ready. Anyway, so this is just a bloop, proof of concept idea right there. <coughs> Hopefully there'll be more to that. Um... I might look for some other skulls. Here's another quick... Now, I have not... That skull and that TIE Fighter wing have never actually been put together until just then. And I just looked at it and I thought, I, I might work. We'll have to, we will have to examine that further. Now, we all know about JD's thing. I just realized I haven't tried... This has also not been tried on camera at all. But... Uh, what? So I'm walking around, so I'm doing shit today in the main galley of the mothership. I'm in the main galley of the mothership doing shit, and I'm looking around, and I'm just being me. I'm just lagging off. I'm not lagging off. I was, like, doing dishes, and, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I'm from the wilderness. There are no roles like that. Like, only in the city do people say, oh, you do dishes, and you're a guy? Like, what the fuck, man? Like, yeah, dude, my, my granddad did dishes. My dad does dishes. Like, they also can fucking sew their own uh, rip up in their sock like I can. Because when you live in the wilderness, you have to know all that shit. So, 
fuck your fucking bullshit. Motherfuckers think they know, and they don't know. They're like, oh, in the old days. Like, no, motherfucker, in the old, old days? The old days that you don't even know about? Even they would think that you're full of shit. Oh, anyway, sorry, I'm getting preachy. Shout out. You know who you are. You're probably not watching, but... but what, I mean, maybe you are. What do I know? I don't care. We are. We're friends. I think we're still friends. Check this out, though, you guys. So I'm sitting here, and I'm like, well, I'm going to need some sticks to make that hollow part and then a cap or whatever, you know, like you're supposed to be. But, you know, I decided I want to make this into the Star Wars P-38. And so I, you know, I looked at some P-38 kits and some submarine kits. Two submarines. Two 148 scale submarines. Look like this, motherfucker. <coughs> you know what I mean? Not Yeah, 148. Whatever it is. But so, I looked at this. I grabbed some paper towels and I looked at the roll. And I was like, well, you're a fucking idiot, Lack. Why don't you just use that paper towel roll? And I was like, man... Paper towel roll is so flimsy and shit, though. And then I, I just fucking did a project, which Brett, Brett, Brett knows about because he probably. But this is literally what's left over from my project, and I fucking went to the fucking storage fucking shack over here attached to the war room, and I went, wait a minute, I have a fucking two foot piece of fucking. I bet that'll fucking fit right on there. And look, motherfuckers, it does. <laughs> so, so look at that, mother, motherfucker. And I have caps. I have two caps. For they're right here. Watch this, motherfucker. So we cut this at whatever length. I can probably, I can probably get. The total length of the vintage Y-Wing, just as a idea. Cut that to length. Apply said cap. Maybe sand down. Oh, I'm going to... I'll sand down the back of this little nub. And maybe apply it onto this. Of course, there will be no gap there, right? It'll look more... Like this. And maybe it goes this way. Uh, maybe I drill a hole in here. Or I slit this. Oh, I make this half as again. Half again as thick. Half again as thick. And then set that on there. Anyway. The paint bin, ladies and gentlemen, is a P-38 Lightning Star Wars Y-Wing. A check. So here's our fucking thing. Now, once we go back, we're going to maybe... Oh, maybe we don't use the caps. Maybe we fucking elbow them and put them together with a cross piece. Or we do a... Tr oh, we do a try. Uh, what do they call that? A try? <laughs> a split. And we do a split. So we do a, a 90, you know, whatever that is. What do they call that one? Where it comes in... 120s, two 120s or something, inlets. We get one of those, so you have one that goes up for the fork tail and one that goes over to connect with the other one. I'm just building this in my head because I literally just found this. And I was like, oh, I wonder if this works. And I was like, no, I better do it on camera. So anyway, maybe we'll do, we'll, I'll film that later maybe. We'll cut that, we'll do, but hey, this is what was hanging us up. You know how to, because the Y-Wing looks fucking, I hope y'all have been being able to hear me, I'm real sorry. The Y-Wing looks fucking stupid without the back end when it looks short. And when they made the escape pod or whatever where just the front of it fucking pops off, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's cool if that's your ship, you'd like to have that, but it's kind of like, obviously a toy design right it's not real at all which people tell me like oh it's a movie it's a movie and it's not supposed to be real and it's like well you know what again if you watch movies from the golden age of movies shit was very authentic and it was very important to filmmakers that it was authentic you know and they had what they called um 
consultants and shit. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't have a military movie without somebody there who... You didn't have movies about Battle of the Bulge unless you actually had somebody there, <coughs> which, of course, now may not be as easy. But in 1960s, when they were making all those movies, it was. They had those people. Fucking the actors were there. Fucking Lee Marvin was... I'm just saying, authenticity was a real thing. And uh, old Western movies are <coughs> some of the most authentic, amazing things. We'll talk about that someday. Some of us won't talk about it because some of us are film experts, but they, we don't watch black and white. I watch black and white, but I'm just saying I just got bitched at by a film noir expert. Oh, okay. Oh, well, fuck y'all then. Hold on, my phone keeps saying duck y'all. I'm saying fuck y'all then. Yeah, okay. Shout out to Collecting with Cool. <laughs> uh, anyway, check this out. Hold on, the guys are all falling down. So, I want to, sh this is a custom, what do, we, what do we call this? A custom update. Okay, now this is just in the proof of concept, and we'll discuss kind of exactly what's going on here. Obviously, the Toklat Mercenary Group, oh, Jesus, need, has a all-armored attack troop transport vehicle. And it's customized. And we did a lot of cutting out in here. Which we're gonna... We're gonna... Uh, we're gonna clean that up because we gotta make a different windshield and different stuff or some kind of armament, okay? So I'm gonna take everybody out. Except the drivers. So I took, the, I took the chairs out, I totally gutted the inside because real size figures wouldn't fit in there. And as people recall who have this, what, what Disney calls a tank, but is obviously a cargo hauler, it, in the movie, it, what is it doing? It's hauling cargo. Does an Abrams tank haul cargo? I mean, maybe they make a trailer for it, but this has a fucking bed in it. This, this vehicle is made with a cargo bed. It's not a tank. It's not a tank. But if y'all recall the... Look, see, I cut all this shit out. I cut all this shit. There was a ledge that this... Oh, wait, I'm doing it wrong. There was a ledge that this sit on. You dig? See, I cut all that shit out. Because fucking real fucking... Real man, I got fucked up down here. But I'll, I'll fix that. I don't know how I did that. Huh. And then also, as y'all recall, right, if the driver sticks his head out of here, right, and like, that's not very combat, right, and and like that, right, and and then the door can like fly up and hit you in the face. I mean, I guess if it was like this and ballistic and you could see through it, but like, why aren't you inside of it? I'm just saying, this is a, again, this is one of those... Well, it's not supposed to be real. And it's like, yes, but we all know what a tank is, right? Like Lindy Beige. Shout out to Lindy Beige. I love you, brother. I hope you're doing well. I don't really know you. I've tried to talk to you a few times, but you don't answer me. If anybody in England knows Lindy Beige or Matt... If you know Matt Easton from Scholar Gladiatoria or Lloyd... I don't know Lloyd's last name from Lindy Beige. Tell him Mike Sivrak is a huge fucking fan. Huge fan. Like 280 pounds. Huge. Love, they all are fucking awesome. My point is, is that we all know what a fucking tank is, motherfuckers. And this thing in Rogue One is not a tank, so go fucking pound sand. Lobot, am I right, Lobot? Lobot's in there dry, you know, he's definitely navigating. We got this, uh, what are these guys called? We got a Mon Calamari driving, because, uh, I don't know. They're supposed to be good fucking pilots, you know what I mean? I mean, the one invented the B-Wing. Maybe that's speciesism, I don't know. But he's the best driver we got, you know? You're gonna, and like, we have a Wookiee, but he has one eyeball. We're not letting him drive. 
But so anyway, check this out. So we've gutted the inside. We had to take the chairs out because everything's sitting up too high. Nobody could sit in, the, even the tiny figures that they make this vehicle for, right? They're made, the one guy's made for his head to stick up out of that fucking hole. Which if I was going into some sort of combat zone, I would not be into that. Not be into that. Just my head st sticking up and it's at the top of this nice angle, this nice ricochet angle. Fuck that noise, motherfucker. Just give me a rifle and I'll get out of this fucking death hole. Fuck this. Fuck this. <coughs> this doesn't even sound like a good idea. <clears throat> anyway, and I was raised by Indians. We're fucking, don't even fucking like, oh, you need a scout? Yeah. And then they're like, hey, where'd that scout go? And be like, I told y'all. I told y'all, don't go in there. Did y'all ever see Little Big Man with Dustin Hoffman? Greatest Dustin Hoffman movie ever. But he tells him, he says, uh, he tells Custer, remember? He says, there are thousands of Indians down there. And he tells him, he says, you go down there if you got the nerve. You know, and like, and they fucking scalped all them motherfuckers, man. Thousands of them. The whole Sioux and Cheyenne nation. Anyway, I don't know what the fuck that's got to do with this Toklat Mercenary Group tank, but there you have it, folks. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I have lots of things. I have I have some windshields. That we're going to do some shit there. I foresee... Here's Lobot, by the way. How you doing? He's got some data pads and different shit that he carries around. Um, we have Gilster 37, but his helmet works... We gotta get the right, I don't have no black and silver paint, so we're gonna fix that. But I think this is probably Gilster's, I think Gilster probably commands this, unless he doesn't want to. Because not the whole Toklat Mercenary Group, the whole Toklat Mercenary Group doesn't go in here. You know, this is kind of like the main transportation ready for action. Most everybody moves in the, this is like the chuck wagon, you know what I'm saying? And most everybody's gonna, most everybody is going to ride along in this, mostly. Also, it's got a lot of, gonna have a lot of armaments. I'm gonna make a tower, my idea here is to make a, a rotating area, but that's taller. So a guy can sit here and spin a gun all the way around, but above the commander's head. You know, and he'll be able to sit up there very much like Dino Rider. You know what I mean? Like get a guy sitting like this high with a gun out in front of him. And, you know, where this guy can. And like maybe the guy doesn't turn, but the gun and the guy turn at least this much, right? Cover whatever that is, 180 degrees. Because in the back, of course, this thing's going to have, I'm going to put the side guns back on it. In the back, we're going to have a big motherfucking, like, Maud Deuce motherfucking whatever, quad 50s. I don't know yet. But we're going to have something major on the back that will cover at least whatever that is. 120? 90. You know, we can cover 90 in the rear and, and, and vertical. You know? And so we'll have a guy to mount this gun. Uh, and then basically we, we, you know, I don't know. I have some little chairs. Do y'all like the movie Hatari with John Wayne? That's one of my favorites. But you remember on that old 50, what was that? That was like a 1948 Chevy pickup truck that they drove in, that Red Buttons drove. Remember it had the, it had the chair bolted on the front fender. I've always wanted to, I've had a hundred fucking, well not a hundred, but I've had a lot of cars in my, v trucks. I've never had a car. Where I come from, they're all called cars. People are like, that's a truck. And I'm like, fuck you, you motherfucker. Like, get the fuck over yourself. I've had a lot of vehicles, and I've always wanted to put a chair on the hood or something, you know? And, like, me and my brother Henry used to hunt like that, but I didn't have a chair up there. I just sat up there, you know? And we used to hunt like that. But I, anyway, I think a chair up here would be cool. Uh, but this side gun might be in the way. And also, if you had a chair... It might want to be over here so it's not in the commander's way. I don't know. This may not be the vehicle for that, but look for that. Maybe we'll get something to do that with. But so anyway, this is uh, 
not a whole lot of time has been spent on this, but this was actually, I whittled most of this out with a razor blade, and I used some heat, I, I, I used some fucking, you can see where it's a little melted, I, it got away from me in a couple of places, and this edge that's, I went after it, because this was thick, but I can clean all that up, I really can, I'm not fucking worried about it. But this is the Toklat Mercenary Group Armored Troop. Wait, what is this called? Armored Attack Troop Transport. Attack Transport. Attack Transport. This is the Toklat Mercenary Group Attack Transport. Brought to you by the Toklat Mercenary Group and Lax Sivrak. Check that fucking motherfucker out. When it's done, it's going to be cool. I just started this. This literally is like 45 minutes worth of work. Last night, while I was talking to Gilster, I had a fucking razor blade in one hand, and I was carving this motherfucker and cutting shit out until Lobot and um, <clears throat> this um, Mon Calamari dude fucking fit in there. You know? And I have all the, the wheels and the tracks. I have all that in a bag right over here. Everybody really loves that tank. And, like, I don't know. First of all, it's not a tank. It was a very cool toy. If $50 is way too much for that, I got that on sale for like maybe 20 years ago. Not years ago, but whenever that whenever that went on sale for fucking 20 <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> another quick custom update. If you're still watching, I didn't realize I've been talking so long, you guys. I'm sorry. Lack can fucking go on. Hey, shout out to AM Dubs. My brother, I love you, man. I love you, man. I'm going to put you in the Toklat Mercenary Group. I just got to find, I'm going to, I got to find the right, I'm not a sculptor or whatever, so I, I, you know what I mean? I look for things that look like the people that I love to make customs out of, you know? And speaking of the people I love and a custom of them in the Toklat Mercenary Group. Wait, wait. Lack knows how to fix this. I invented this. Nobody else does this except Lack. Why am I not doing it now? Because it's not working? There you go. Check it out. Who is that? Am I shaking and that's why it won't focus? Anyway, we'll drop some pictures of this on Instagram, too, or something. But anyway, this is obviously the Chirat Imwe, head and neck, uh, sent to me by Dylan V., the professor of badass. He sent, he sent us that, and who's obviously also responsible for our logo. Which we'll, I'll show you a little bit more of that in a second. But anyway, since Dylan is in fact a general, uh, that is why he is wearing... Oh, I gotta take that imperial symbol off. Sorry, I forgot to do that. Uh, anyway, Dylan is a general in the Toklat Mercenary Group. And he will be getting his own custom scout machine now dylan rides motorcycles if i could find a cool motorcycle that would be cool but i he is already a 5 poa figure so but i can always redo this if i find a cool motor motor motorbike i shot me a motorcycle if i can find me a cool motorcycle i'll change this head to an articulated uh toklat mercenary group general's uniform and um, put them on that. And this is going to get painted. This, this is going to, this and that troop transport, armored attack troop transport. These will all get similar paint jobs, I think. Because these are all going to be Toklat Mercenary Group official vehicles. But so check this out. Here's Dylan on his fucking Star Wars motorcycle. Scouting shit out for the Toklat Mercenary Group. 
And uh, you know how Miggs Mayfield carries like seven guns or whatever? Like, first of all, he learned that from fucking Lack and Dylan. That's called the New York Reload. Which, with a laser gun, I don't think you need to worry about. But I don't know how those laser guns work. So, whatever! We're rolling up on 25 minutes. Last thing I'm going to show you all, and then I'm going to let you go. I love how you've already gone. Again, shout out to Dylan. Dylan V and Digo Art. Terry. For providing this artwork and all that jazz. This was a Jurassic Park... Um, Hold on. The white. I think I should have learned this. Huh? This was a Jurassic Park uh, target remote control. It's still remote control. <laughs> but anyway, I was just looking at it and I decided, man, I fucking hate Jurassic Park. I mean, I don't hate it, but you know what I mean? Like, I didn't buy the Jeep because it's Jurassic Park. I bought it because it's a cheap, easy to use remote control car for my son. Toklat 605A. I'm going to, uh,. Anyway, I'm going to make a cover for this tire, so painting it painting it shouldn't look so goofy. Because I'm going to put, like, a cover over it, maybe out of, like, zebra skin. Uh, I have that fake zebra skin. But so anyway, and then I had that one free sticker that was had a wrinkle on the bottom. That was, like, the proof sticker. So I cut it. Cut it out. And made this lax Sivrak mobile. Uh... I think the name of this vehicle is called, tell me what y'all think of this name. And it probably means nothing to y'all. But so this is called The Overflow. What do you think? I mean, if they made a G.I. Joe fucking toy that was like American Army or or Air Force, like, blue camouflage, and they called it the fucking Overflow. Like, you'd buy it, right? I would love to name vehicles. I worked at one company where they almost started letting me name shit because I busted their balls so much, and I came up with some great names, but then I quit them. But in the next year or two, they'll be, they'll be using my names. Just wait. But yeah, this is the Overflow. Uh, Mark at Blue Harvest is doing a cool custom. Um... And I'm not going to give away what it is, but it's, let's just say, I, I can say this, I think, without giving it away. It is the Black Major's Interceptor. And I said, and this is not the greatest thing, but the first thing I came to my head is I was thinking, I thought, what if you call it the, um, oh, God damn it, I wrote it down. What if you called it the, the Withstander? The Withstander. Because I was thinking of like Wayfinder, like Star Wars, and we then we started talking about Star Wars names, like more World War II names on ships. Like they had the, the Ventilator class, Starships, the Infiltrator, the Annihilator, you know, the Millennium Falcon, or Falcon. Um, I don't know. The Ghost... Spectre. Spectre is what they call each other, but Spectre is a fucking gunship, right? Everybody knows that. I used to have an uncle who worked on Spectre. He was on Spectre during, um... No, he was on Puff the Magic Dragon. I can't remember now, but we, there's Puff the Magic Dragon and there's Spectre. And neither one of them do you want flying over you. You know, I don't even know if we use those anymore, but my one uncle was on that motherfucker in Nam, and he said, mm. Mm. Anyway, it's been almost 30 minutes. This is going to take forever to load. I appreciate everybody. Thank you for joining us. Tell me some of your ideas. What do you think of any of those things? Comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe. I should tell you to do that before the 30-minute mark. Because no, I don't know. I hope you all are watching this. Let me know down in the bottom if you really like what I'm doing. And Actually, yeah. Put something in the bottom. Let's talk about what the... What? 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 Put something in the comments below the screen that you are watching. And let's fucking chat, fuckers. Uh, bark, bark.